When it comes to taking notes, we all have different preferences, but chances are you've come across Samsung Notes and Obsidian. One is great for quick access and smooth integration, while the other one is useful for organizing and linking notes, since these apps serve different purposes. So, in this video, instead of just comparing them, we'll highlight who gets the most out of each. Right from the start, Obsidian and Samsung Notes introduce their unique design approach, shaping how you engage with them. Samsung Notes offers a clean and simple layout that's a preferable choice for anyone looking for an easy way to take notes, especially on Samsung devices. Here, you can quickly write down ideas or reminders without even unlocking your phone. Just use the stylus to create notes right from the lock screen, making it kind of convenient when you're on the go. The handwriting recognition feature also lets you write naturally, and it'll convert your scribbles into text so it's easier to organize and search later. Plus, organizing your notes is a breeze with folders and tags, so you can keep things neat and accessible. It's designed to make note-taking efficient, whether you're in a hurry or have more time to get creative. Obsidian, on the other hand, takes a more complex approach. Its interface is built for users who want to go deeper with their notes. With customizable workspaces, you can set up different areas for topics or projects. The backlinking feature is like creating connections between related ideas. So if you're working on multiple projects, you can easily link them together to see how they relate. And then, the visual graph view takes all those links and turns them into a mind map so you can literally see how your ideas are connected. It's like building your own knowledge web that grows as you add more info, making it super easy to find connections you might not have thought of otherwise. So, if you're looking for a tool that helps you organize your ideas and projects in a visually intuitive way, Obsidian might be on your list. While Samsung Notes is great for quick, everyday use, Obsidian is for those who want to build a more interconnected note for their thoughts. Now, let's break down their feature. Samsung Notes is great for those who want a versatile tool for quick notes and handwriting, especially if you're already using Samsung devices with features like S Pen support and seamless integration. Though it's also available on Android phones and Windows PCs. Here, you can use templates to create structured notes without starting from scratch, and annotations let you mark up PDFs or images. If you want your tasks to be tracked, then to-do lists help you stay organized. Plus, the voice notes let you record ideas, and with offline access, you can check or edit your notes anytime. You can also set reminders so you never forget important stuff. To keep things organized, Samsung Notes supports hierarchy management and even file attachments for keeping related documents in one place. The app covers the basics, but could be improved with features like a web clipper for saving online content and optical character recognition for extracting text from images. On the other hand, Obsidian is about organization and customization. With its markdown-based writing, your notes are portable and future-proof, while its backlinks and graph view allow you to visualize how ideas connect. If you like to customize your workflow, Obsidian's plugin options, including Kanban boards and calendar integrations, make it flexible to use. Plus, users can create and customize templates for consistency, add annotations to highlight the details of their writing, and rely on version history to track changes over time. Important notes can be easily revisited with the bookmarks feature, while to-do lists and reminders help keep tasks organized. It also supports voice notes, allowing for quick audio recordings. Another feature of Obsidian is the Web Clipper, which allows you to save online content directly and hierarchy management keeps things organized. Even optical character recognition for extracting text from images and scanned documents, making information retrieval easygoing. So if you want a convenient and easy to use feature, Samsung Notes is the way to go. But if you're looking for advanced features to build a knowledge base, Obsidian takes the lead. Let's get into syncing and accessibility, which are on the priority list for some users. For users with Galaxy devices, the ability to access notes directly from the lock screen using the S Pen. Also, your notes sync automatically through Samsung Cloud, OneDrive, or even Google Drive, so you can start taking notes on your phone and pick it up on your tablet without switching. But it doesn't work as easily on non-Samsung phones or iOS, so it's a bit limited if you're using other devices. On the other hand, Obsidian gives you more control over your notes by working offline first, 
meaning your data is stored locally on your device by default. And when you're traveling or in a remote location, you still have access to your files. It also seamlessly works across Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, and Android. And more importantly, you don't need any cloud syncing, but if you want to sync across devices, you can use Obsidian Sync, which is a paid feature, or third-party options like Google Drive or OneDrive. For this, it can be limited for some users. So if you're all in on Samsung devices, Samsung Notes keeps things easy. But if you like having full control over your files and don't mind setting up sync manually, Obsidian is the way to go. Samsung Notes excels in team collaboration. If you need to share your notes, you can easily export them into various formats like PDFs, Word files, or images, depending on what works best for your recipient. This flexibility is helpful when you're collaborating with colleagues or friends. Also, when you use OneDrive syncing with Samsung Notes, any changes you or your collaborators make are instantly updated across all devices. Another great feature of Samsung Notes is its API integration. This allows you to connect Samsung Notes with other apps or systems, making it a pretty handy tool for users who are working across multiple platforms or need to sync information between devices. Moreover, if you need to share notes with colleagues or friends, Samsung Notes makes it easy. In contrast, Obsidian is not designed for real-time collaboration. It's more of a personal note-taking system rather than a shared workspace. But with Obsidian Sync, you can collaborate on a shared vault with your team. All collaborators must have an active sync subscription to access a shared vault. Joining a shared vault does not count towards your vault limit. However, Obsidian does not yet support collaborative live editing on the same file. You will not see the other user's cursor, and their edits will only appear once the changes are synced. If multiple users are editing the same file at the same time, changes will be merged during the syncing process. So, this can be a drawback, but you can control who has access to the notes by managing permissions. This feature is especially useful if you're working on shared documents or collaborative projects. Plus, its commenting and feedback features make it easy to gather input from others, whether you're reviewing notes or brainstorming new ideas. When it comes to collaboration and sharing, Samsung Notes has the edge. Though Obsidian is great for personal use and customization, it's not as smooth as Samsung Notes. Samsung Notes and Obsidian offer different levels of customization and themes, addressing distinct user needs. Samsung Notes is relatively simple and streamlined, offering a set of basic themes for a user-friendly experience. While you can change the theme to a dark or light mode, the level of customization stops there. Its primary focus is on providing a straightforward note-taking experience with minimal distractions. Samsung Notes allows you to adjust the font size and layout for easier reading, but it doesn't offer in-depth theme customization or plug-in support. On the other hand, Obsidian is pretty great for those who love to personalize every aspect of their workspace. With Obsidian, you get full control over themes, allowing you to switch between a variety of community-created themes or even create your own with CSS. The app's plugin system allows users to add a wide range of functionality, from task management to advanced writing features. Ultimately, if you want simplicity, Samsung Notes will do the trick. But if you're into customization, Obsidian takes the lead with its options for personalized workflows. One of the most notable features of Samsung Notes is the ability to add password protection. This extra layer of security ensures that only you or those with permission can access sensitive information. Plus, Samsung Notes can send email notifications to keep you updated on tasks, notes, or reminders, ensuring that nothing slips through the cracks. Samsung Notes offers strong protection for your data, featuring encryption, biometric authentication, and secure folder, like a private space where you can store sensitive content. For an extra layer of privacy, Samsung Notes allows you to lock individual notes. This ensures that your personal information remains safe and secure. On the flip side, Obsidian is also built with security and privacy in mind, offering a secure space to store and organize your thoughts. It uses end-to-end -end encryption by default, ensuring that your data is protected. It does not collect personal data from its desktop and mobile apps. 
and it doesn't gather visitor data unless you choose to customize your site to do so. Third-party plugins and themes must comply with strict developer policies, and users can activate restricted mode to disable any installed plugins. It's worth noting, however, that Obsidian does not encrypt your local vault. At the end of the day, both apps excel in their own ways. It's just about what fits your workflow best. So, which one do you prefer? Drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.